talk about different payment methods for independent cam shows. You have a few options. First and foremost, I want to say always avoid PayPal. Not only is anything remotely sexual or adult against PayPal's terms of service and acceptable use policy, but you are giving the buyer all of your personal information unless you've got a strictly business account with an address that leads to a P.O. box. And conversely, the guy or you have all of the guy's information. So if you're a bad person or if he's a bad person, it just doesn't end well. And the biggest rule to always follow in this industry is to keep your personal identity and your camming identity separate. So never use PayPal. Amazon is a great way to accept payments for shows. Um, it's just important that you follow a few steps first. Number one, never turn your cam on until you've got your gift code loaded to your Amazon.com account. It's pretty simple to do. Just give the guy your work email, camming email by work email. Um, so like mine, mine is mine, mine has Yana in the name, so people know it's my work email. You'll get an email that says so and so has sent you a gift code. Uh, so, you know whoever, whatever the name is. So you open that email. There be there will be a code and a link. You click on the link. You copy the code, and it'll take you to a page on Amazon where you can enter the code. And then you click apply to account, and then it's 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 applied. So then the next time you want to buy something, whether it be right after your show or in a couple of weeks, you've got your gift code loaded to your account, and um, you know it's there. You know the money is there. You know you have it. There's no charge back with that. You know you you are paid um, if you don't trust the link in the email if you think it might be a fraudulent email uh, go to amazon.com click on my account scroll down to gift cards the heading that says gift cards under that there'll be a link that says apply gift card uh, just copy and paste the code from the email into there if it doesn't work in that box it's a fake code and you've been scammed and at that point, you can you can handle the situation appropriately if you want to tell the guy off or pretend like maybe he made a simple error or whatever it is you're most comfortable with. So the bottom line is never, ever, ever do anything, anything until you've got that code added to your account. Because otherwise, you're doing a show for free and you don't know if he's ever going to pay you. And chances are, I'd say 11 times out of 10, He's not going to if he hasn't before the show. Um, Victoria's Secret has a very similar system. You just you get the email, you log into your Victoria's Secret account, and you apply the code for future uh, for future use. So Amazon or Victoria's Secret works fine. A lot of girls have mentioned Gift, Rock Gift Rocket. I've never used it, so I can't speak on it. Excuse me. Sorry, but from what I've read about Gift Rocket, it's also not the safest unless you immediately as soon as you get the payment transfer the funds either into your bank account or request a check or whatever it is that gift rocket does I'm not sure but basically again unless you use the funds right away you're leaving yourself open for a chargeback and for a potential scam even if you do everything right if the guy wants to scam you he will and that's the issue with PayPal again is um, then this is actually, this is a personal story. This is back when I was new and didn't know any better about PayPal. I sold someone two videos and immediately after he received the videos, he told PayPal it was a fraudulent transaction. Not only did they find out that I was using it for adult purposes, and I never read the acceptable use policy. Who reads all that text when you agree to stuff? I'm pretty sure South Park did an episode about that. Anyway, um, not only did he get his... Did he get those videos for free? I got kicked off of PayPal, and uh, I never got paid for that. So, and, and even though they ruled it wasn't a fraudulent transaction, then he in fact did pay for them um, because it, what, it was what it was for. They just gave his money back, and I'm hoping he got kicked off too. But if it's just me, well, that sucks. But yeah, you always want to go with methods where you can't get chargebacks. Um, a good website for that, if you're a cam girl and you don't mind giving up a bigger cut of your money, is extralunchmoney.com. They take uh, between 40 and 35%, but 
There is no chargebacks with them at all. So you are always protected. They have great customer support. As far as uh, selling clips goes and cam shows, it's probably the best site as far as uh, seller website relations. All you have to do is make an account there. It's really easy to get verified. Um, uh, you have the guy join as well. He sets up an escrow. You do the show. You accept all the, well, first of all, he sets, the, he sets up the escrow. You accept the escrow. You type in how many days it's going to take. You know, one, obviously, you'd probably just put in one since you're probably going to do it right away. Um, you do the show. And then after you do the show, you mark the escrow as completed. You write in the box, yay, I had fun, whatever. And then he approves it. Um, I'm pretty sure after you've accepted the escrow, he cannot unapprove it. So, um, and, and he, he could go to the website and say she never did the show, but, you know, I've never seen that happen on Extra Lunch Money, and they don't do chargebacks, so you are pretty safe. Um, my Girl Fund is another one where you can do shows, but I'd advise if you were going to do a show on My Girl Fund, or if you were going to get paid by My Girl Fund, you do the show on My Girl Fund, because um, they are... Well, they've had issues in the past with guys going and saying, again, I paid for the show here, but she didn't do it, even if the girl did do it. Um, so the girl gets in trouble and doesn't get her money, and it's a mess. So if you're going to do My Girl Fund, that's cool. You know, if, if, you, if you have a, a low cut there, say if they only take like 20% or whatever, but be prepared to do the show there as opposed to Skype or Yahoo. Um, and obviously, if you're on my free cams or streammate, guys can just send you tokens or gold or whatever. But again, you're giving up more of a cut that way. And with the Amazon and Victoria's Secret options, and even extra lunch money or my girl fund, you are getting to keep more of your money. So I hope this helps. Remember, don't use PayPal. It is bad. <laughs> All right. Thank you.